Or just straight down on the first one to get the other man down ten times. And you'll hear the voice of our Master of Ceremonies in the corner calling out the score as we go. Dave Reese making sure that the right ones only count, of course, Dave Reese the rest. Easily identifiable in all the white tights, the red stripe and knee pads is Chris Adams, of course. Double wrist lock and the back out of position, but a crotch hold there by this one. No, didn't count. The referee won't have that one. It wasn't on his back. Oh, front down. Got to turn him over. Even though he doesn't, in this form of decision point system, it doesn't need, of course, to hold the man down for a count of three as in an ordinary pinfall. Just to get him down for a split second is enough to get one point. Well, I've never seen it happen so long before the first point. None of them giving an inch. They want to get in the final for this 25th anniversary trophy and a beautiful one there first by point Chris Adams. Adams. So Adams by 1-0. All he needs now is another nine more of those. Not on his back. Referee waving his arms to not allowing that at all. And he doesn't get anywhere near his back if he takes it on his feet. A complete somersault. Yeah. Taking his man over and again, it's Toby in trouble. 2-0 to Adams. pretty nearly as tense here as the two men in the ring because it's very very important to get the final position against Alan Dennison later on this afternoon we'll be seeing the final one of these men will be in it against Dennison they both would love a chance at that tremendous 25-year anniversary trophy six each nothing in it both of them want four points to get into the final now be stronger no doubt because he's much heavier and he's a physical culturist anyway and a karate expert too but he can't use that here seven to Kilby. so Kilby going ahead seven six Getting underneath that arm again Adams Lovely move, it worked last time for him. The posting won't do. He's got to get the back to canvas, not the corner post. It might act as a weakness. Yes, now a possibility. Yes, beauty one. Beauty one by Seven Adams. To Adams. Seven each, still nothing in it. The deaf and dumb boy, uh, Aaron Kilby, who's checking with the referee exactly what the score is at the moment. Told it was seven inch. Eight to Kilby. There he goes ahead again. So it'll be eight seven. Uh, uh, uh. Eight yes, to that counts. He slipped, but that counts. He went down on his back. He'll be not sure he likes that one, but it's eight all just the same. Which one of these is going to get the remaining two points necessary? There's one Nine. of them, Kilby. Kilby. And the crowd really getting excited now. And I must admit, we are here at ringside. A great, great uh, ten points to side of this. Oh, took the back of the neck beautifully. Nine 
and it's nine each. So now it's the next one that counts. And Adams going tearing in, not giving Kelby a chance here. What a finish! Just one point to make now. And Alan Dennison waiting in his dressing room to find out which of these men he takes on for the trophy a little later on today. Well, they're going to be very careful now. Not, no risk of a mistake here. Yes, perfectly legal. Flying tackle. Flying tackle, but he's in trouble. Chris Adams is in trouble. If he gets the slam in, Kobe's got it. If he gets the slam in, it's all over. Chris Adams trying to force the balance. And the people at ringside really going mad here. Can, can he get him over? No, it's Kobe that's done it. Kobe done it 10-9, and what a finish. What a finish. Kobe the winner by 10 points to 9, but what a pity there has to be a loser. Sportingly, Chris Adams raises his opponent's arm and claps it. 10 points to 9!